In this lecture, we are going to create a couple of modules for our Nest.js application. Now, we can create a module in two ways. We can create a module manually and we can also create a module using Nest.js CLI. So, we are going to see both the approaches. Let's go to VS Code. And here, we are in our Nest.js project. Now, when we created this Nest.js project using Nest.js CLI, it generated these files and folders. And one of the main folders in this project folder structure is this source folder. And if I expand this source folder, there you will see that we have this main.ts file, which is the main entry point of a Nest.js application. And we also have this app module.ts file, which is the main module of our Nest.js application. So for this app module.ts file, we also have some associated files. So in this app module.ts file, we are using this app controller and we are using this app service. So this app controller is present inside this app controller.ts file. So you see here we are importing app controller from that file. So this app controller.ts file, it is associated with this app module file. In the same way, this app service file also is associated with this app module file. And then we also have this app controller.spec.ts file. And as we have learned in our last lecture, the controller.spec.ts file is the file which contains the test cases for a controller. In this case, this file contains the test cases for this app controller. Okay, so for this app module, we have three related files which has been automatically generated by Nest.js CLI the app controller.ts file, the app service.ts file, and app controller.spec.ts file. But we can also have other associated files for this app module file. Now, the app module file is created by Nest.js CLI when we created this project. Now, we want to create a new user defined module for our Nest.js application. So, for that, what we are going to do is first of all, that module file should be present inside this source folder. So any code related to Nest.js, we need to write it inside this source folder. And since I'm going to create a user defined module file, I'm going to create it inside a separate folder. I'm not going to keep it inside this source folder. Instead, inside this source folder, we will create a new folder. And here we are going to create a user module. So I'll call this folder as users. And inside this folder, we are going to create a new file. And since we are going to create a module file and we are going to call that module user module. So I'll name this file as users dot. And since it is going to be a module file by convention, we need to use module in it. And a module file is nothing but a TypeScript file. So here the extension should be dot ts. So this is our module file. Just like how we have app module.ts for the user module, we have this file user module.ts. Now, inside this user module.ts, we are going to create a module. And in the last lecture, we learned that a module is nothing but a TypeScript class. So, we are going to create a TypeScript class. For that, we are going to use class keyword followed by a name for the class. And we are going to call it user module. All right. Now, this user module class we might want to use it in some other file and when we want to use it in some other file we will have to import this user module class in that file and in order to make it importable we also need to export it so that it can be imported in other files and to export a class we are using this export keyword so a module is nothing but a typescript class decorated with at module decorator so in order to make this user module class a module we need to decorate it with at module decorator so here i'll use at module now in order to use this at module decorator we also need to import it from nest.js slash common package then only we should be able to use it and to this we also need to pass a metadata object and inside that object, we can specify the controllers for this module, the providers for this module. And if we want to import any other module inside this user module, we can also specify the imports array. But for now, we will not do that. 
So in this way, we have created a user module. This user module is a class decorated with at module decorator. Now nest.js is not aware about this user module. Let me save this file first. Okay, so nest.js is not aware about this user module. And that's because when this nest.js application will run, nest.js is not going to scan this project folder structure to check what are the modules, controllers, services, etc. we have created inside this project folder. Instead, nest.js application is going to scan this app module. And whatever is imported there or whatever is mentioned there, only those modules, controllers and services will be used by the nest.js application. For example, currently if we run this nest.js application, in this module file we have specified app controller and app services and we have this app module. So nest.js application is aware about this app module, it is aware about this app controller and it is also aware about this app service. But it is not aware about this user module.ts because we have not mentioned that user module anywhere inside this root module inside this app module and nest.js is only going to scan this app module which is the root module for this application and whatever it will find there it will recognize it so in order to make this user module usable inside this nest.js application we must connect this user module to this app module and to do that all we have to do is we have to import this user module class inside the imports array of this app module so here let's go ahead and let's import user module and to import it we also need to write this import statement at the top and we need to import this user module class from this file path and now app module is aware about this user module and since we are bootstrapping this app module in the main.ts file here the nest.js application is also aware about that user module okay let's save this file now and if i go back to command prompt there you will see that now this user module is also being loaded when we are compiling our application if i go back and if i remove this user module from here if i save the changes now and if i go back to the terminal you will not see that user module being loaded here anywhere okay so in order to load that user module we need to import it inside this main module and now if we go back you can see that the user module is also initialized it is loaded by the nest.js application so this is how we can create a module manually but we can also use nest.js cli to create a module now in order to create a module what we did we created a folder called users inside that users folder we created this file users.module.ts and inside this file we created this user module class decorated it with at module decorator and then we registered this user module class inside this app module so everything we did manually now let's try to create a new module but this time we will create that module using nest.js cli so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this vs code built-in terminal and here i'm going to select command prompt let's delete this powershell here and here i'll type cls to clear everything from this terminal and now i want to create a new module and to create a new module we are going to use nest.js cli and for that we need to first use nest and then we will specify a space and we want to generate a module for that after this nest we can say generate or in short we can also specify g g for generate and what do we want to generate we want to generate a module okay and then we need to specify a name for the module so i am going to call it as tweet now if i press enter you will see that two things have happened first of all inside the source folder a tweet folder has been created and inside that tweet folder 
this tweet.module.ts file has been created. So you can see here we have a tweet folder and inside that tweet folder tweet module.ts file has been created. And inside that file we have this tweet module class decorated with at module decorator. And then the second thing which has happened is this app module.ts file has been updated. So if we go to app module.ts file, there you will see in the imports array this tweet module which has been created by nest.js CLI, it has been automatically added to the imports array of this app module. So we do not have to do it manually. And this tweet folder was created. Inside that, this tweet.module.ts file was created. And inside that, this tweet module class was created. And it was decorated with at module decorator. So when we use nest.js CLI to create a module, the nest.js CLI will take care of all the steps of creating a module. So we don't have to do anything manually. Okay. So this is how we can also create a module using nest.js CLI. Now in the last lecture, we also learned that every module will have two important files, the controller file and the service file. But here we have not added any controller file or any service file for this tweet module or for this user module that we will do in our coming lectures. Here, I simply wanted to show you how we can create a module manually as well as using Nest.js CLI. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.